What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Chrissy Mack, and I'm back with another video. So before we go ahead and get started today, I really just wanna come on here and say thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Because you guys have been supporting me from the beginning. From battling my lupus to now getting a kidney transplant, I just wanna say thank you for everybody that has subscribed. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, what's up no honestly i really just want to tell you to go ahead click that notification so you can get more of my videos subscribe just thank you guys for all the love and support you guys every like every comment every dm just checking on me i just want you to know that it has not gone unnoticed so let's go ahead and get started so in today's video we're going to be talking about the bella infusion so if you guys are familiar with the kidney transplant, there are many medications that we have to take. And one of them is an actual infusion which is done at the hospital. And it's called the Bella. It's done once a month for 30 minutes. You sit in the chair, they connect you, and it just goes. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what that process was like for me getting the Bella today. Actually lost. I lost one pound and a half or something like that from the last time I was here. So I just got my pork, my IV pork pudding this morning. We tried here, but that was not successful because there's a lot of scar tissue. Actually, I have a lot of scar tissue here, and this is the only thing that I can get stuck in. They're about to call for a few minutes so I can go ahead and get the Bella infusion done. So as you guys can see, I did good with my Bella infusion. No harm done. Honestly, I didn't even know the machines were on at one point. I was like, is the machine on? She's like, yeah, it's on. I'm like, oh wow, I, I didn't feel it. No side effects. Um, sometimes, you know, you get that bad taste in your mouth. None of that, normal. I sat there for my 30 minutes, I read my book, I spoke to my husband. My husband is always with me, he never abandons me and I'm so grateful for him. And we just sat there for the 30 minutes, we talked it up, key key, and then I went about my day. This honestly was the second time that I had this infusion done. The first time I had it done, I was in the hospital. So I was already on anesthesia, I don't remember any of that stuff guys, all of that stuff was just like a blur for that moment. But this time I was able to come on, tell you guys, what it feels like and I wanted to bring you guys on this journey because you guys have been here with me through it all I mean from the lupus to kidney transplant you know why not take you to see what an infusion is actually done before they actually infuse you they check your blood pressure my blood pressure was normal and after before they send you home they just want to make sure that you're okay they check my blood pressure and that was normal 
So with this medication, it's an anti-rejection medication and it's something that they want us to take every month um, around the same time. That doesn't mean that you can't travel. If you have somewhere that you need to go, you can take it a couple of days before or a couple of days after. But with this medication, they really want us to keep on schedule. So while I was doing the infusion, my doctor came in, he came to check me out, make sure everything was going good with me, check the incision site, ask me any questions, very concerned, just wanna make sure I'm okay, just telling me, you know, stay out of big crowds because my immune system is being suppressed right now and he doesn't want me to get sick, stay out of germy places like daycares, um, even church because sometimes at church they want you to shake your hands and so he didn't want me to be around any of that he was telling me that even i could start working out within the next couple of weeks you know just taking it slow just because i feel good doesn't mean that i'm up and ready to do everything but i was feeling good after the infusion i just wanted you guys to know that i didn't have any side effects which was the biggest thing because i was worried was i gonna get sick and nothing happened so I just want to say thank you guys again for all your support. Go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see more videos like this. And if you know someone that can benefit from this, go ahead and share it with them. Otherwise, guys, I love you and I'll see you on the next video.